About 15% of uh, waste pickers are actually children. So that's, that's a huge figure we have. And whatever they pick uh, and they earn, they don't pocket that money first. No, they don't. See, basically, we have to see how these children even get into waste picking in the first place. So it's basically their parents who are waste pickers and they are abjectly poor and they have no education. So they are not automatically going to put their children through school because they don't have right. any idea about that. And uh, also because that entire family is uh, concerned with waste picking. It's not just the adult waste pickers. When waste picking is there, it's the whole family into it because obviously the waste picker is not earning a steady income. So every pair of hands is valuable. You cannot take out a child even though he is six or seven years because that income is necessary. And again, these children cannot go to school because there is no motivation for them. Like Chintan is... Uh, uh, has a lot of learning centers. We have about 18 non-formal learning centers for waste picking children. But it is very difficult to keep these children in school because once we mainstream them into municipal schools, there's no motivation. The teachers discriminate against them. They are made to sit in a corner. They are isolated. We think the teachers think that they carry diseases. So where is the motivation for them to continue? So there has to be a policy by the government to sensitize and train these uh, teachers at the school so the children are accepted and respected as a part of society. Society. I mean, they have rights too. I mean, what is the life of a waste picker child? He gets up at four or five with his parents, he goes to a landfill, he picks waste, he comes back home. In the afternoons are spent in segregating waste. And if it's a girl child, then she's also cooking and going to the landfill, looking after her infant siblings at home. So where is their life? Our children in the afternoon go to tuitions, go to dance classes, music classes. These children, waste is their life. So whatever they earn goes to the house just to run their houses, I mean, just to run their lives. They have no other life besides the waste. Isn't there also systemic abuse of these children? Of course. In uh, uh, Are you talking about children being part of families? What about those children who've been kidnapped and put into uh, a group which is involved in, in, in drag picking? Absolutely. It's, it's There's a huge mafia for these things. I mean, we all know it. I don't think anybody is unaware of these things. And look at what these children face. I mean, more so these children who don't have a family. They go to pick waste. They are abused. You and I abuse them. We don't see them as children. We just look at them as rag pickers. We look at them as the scums of society, as thieves. And these children, they face, I mean, they are children. They are very resilient in this state, I mean, this uh, structure of society. They are extremely resilient. But we have to remember they are children, they are traumatized, they are abused, they face about, I think Chintan studies have revealed about 84% of these waste picker children are anemic and they have, uh, they face all kinds of gastrointestinal diseases, respiratory problems, they pick up sanitary napkins, diapers, they are in contact with mercury from thermometers. So they face a huge amount of abuse and we, the society, it is shocking that we don't care enough to protect these children. Is it also true, and while I completely understand what you're saying, that without these children, on whom we are utterly, completely dependent, a city like De Delhi, with the municipal services that actually exist, would come ground, grinding to a halt? No, it's actually a shame that when we talk about recycling, it cannot be at the cost of child labor. Then it's not green anymore. Of course, we promote grease, uh, recycling, and it's a very green initiative, but not with children. The moment I'm trying to understand use... our dependence on children. Well, our it's, it's utter, it's, it's complete. Any, when we speak about recycling, it is always through children and rag pickers in a city like Delhi. Right? There that is, is what is shocking. I mean, definitely we are dependent on adult waste pickers and we should be recognizing them because there's a huge contribution to society. They are recycling 20% of our waste and that's a huge amount. Like Delhi is generating about 9,000 metric tons of waste per day and 20% they are saving it from going to the landfill, which is, I think, a huge amount. But... At the same time, we should not be dragging the children into it. Yeah. A child who is six years old, his place is not in a landfill or at a garbage dump. His place is in school. So where are the rights of these children? Well, there are no rights. In there this are stage. no rights. Thank you so much for offering us that perspective.